I'm going to show you how you can create a dynamic agenda using the agenda feature in Engage. Um, but first, I'm going to show you the challenge with a regular static agenda like the one we have here. Uh, so the challenge becomes when you have to add a new slide and you have to add a new agenda item. Um, so for example, you might have to grab uh, this item, do a copy paste, and then uh, in this case, uh, update the number and uh, put a new item. Okay, so it becomes even more challenging uh, when you have to add uh, this item, which doesn't come at the end, but like in between. Uh, so for example, if this came between slide uh, two and three, you might have to uh, copy paste this, drag this over, uh, and then you'd have to manually update um, all of these uh, numbers uh, to the right number and, and so on. So there's a lot of manual work involved. Um, so what you can do instead is uh, let's get rid of all of this here and make sure you have the Engage tab selected and click on the Agenda button. What this will do is it will drop a dynamic agenda right on your uh, agenda slide. Um, so the first thing you can do is you can select different designs uh, based on the number of agenda items that you have. Um, a different design might make more sense uh, for you. Um, something like this, for example. Um, and that's the idea is that you can add more items and this will dynamically uh, update uh, as needed. So for example, I'm going to come back down here, but let's just add one to show you what I mean. Let's add an item and we'll call this uh, new item. Okay. And as a default, it puts it at the bottom here, but let's go ahead and um, move that up a bit. So uh, let's move that up again. All right. So now we can see new item is position number six and uh, we can uh, change the color as well. We could make it gray or um, in this case, maybe we'll make it orange. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty easy to just add a new item uh, without having to spend a lot of time on the, the design side. So I can switch back to this original di uh, um, design. And so now I can see new item is in position number six. Uh, with the orange that I've selected. So there's a, a couple of different designs that you can choose from. Uh, some other options over here, the uh, font. Uh, so for the number, if you wanted to make this font green, for example, that's how you would change the uh, font color. So let's just make it uh, white. Uh, you can change the size of the font here as well. Um, and then for the agenda, same idea. This is like a dark color, but if you wanted to, for example, make it blue, you could you can make it blue. Um, I'll just go back and make it uh, a dark black. Um, okay, and then over here, um, you have different um, uh, options here as well. Uh, so I'll show you this uh, in a different uh, slide presentation, but basically uh, it also lets you link um, these items, um, not just uh, by entering them manually like we, like we did here below, but uh, link to the actual slide titles if you have an existing presentation already done. We're not going to make you uh, manually enter all those titles. Um, the other thing you can do here is there's a checkbox which sets the links on the refresh. Again, I'll show you that um, in a, a bit later in that example. Um, but that's when you go to uh, F5 and you go to um, presentation mode. Uh, what we can do is we can make these um, hyperlinks to those specific slides for you automatically simply by uh, leaving this uh, checked on. Um, you can remove that if you want as well by unchecking this. Okay, so um, down below I'll show you uh, some of the options that you have. Uh, so the first option that you have is uh, you can change the name of the agenda item uh, by typing it over here. So if we wanted to change this from executive summary to just executive, we could do that and then you can see it updates over here. Um, you can change the color of um, that item as well. So that's how you would do that. Um, and then over here, what you can do as well is instead of having a number, uh, you can choose an icon. So uh, these are all the icons that you can choose from. So for example, if uh, this agenda item had to do with uh, databases, uh, you might choose this uh, icon. The other thing that you can do as well is you can use your own icon. So if you have a PNG image, you can click on browse and then uh, select that image, and then it'll put in that icon here uh, for you. Um, so in this case, if you want to remove the icon, you just uh, select remove icon. 
Um, and then over here, these are the links. So what you can do is you can set this link and I'll show you that example as well um, a bit later, but you can make this uh, agenda item uh, a link that goes to that uh, specific slide. Um, and then finally, what you can do is you can adjust the order. So like we did earlier, you can uh, make this um, go down a position or up a position and so on. You can also remove that item by clicking this uh, red uh, X box. Um, and then that'll remove that item. And then of course, like we did earlier, you can add an item. Um, so I'll call this new, new item. And then that'll create that item. As a default, it always puts it at the end. Um, but again, you can move that up to whatever position you like. So I can move it up to the seventh position and so on uh, using these arrows that go up and down based on the position that I, I want. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you um, this feature over here, the refresh from titles and then the linking, because um, this can save you a lot of time. So this is what happens when you drop that agenda in a um, blank presentation. This is the default. This is what it looks like. Uh, when you go to a presentation like this one, however, that's already been created where I have an executive summary slide, I have problem opportunity statement slides and so on, I have about um, nine or so slides. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and insert a new slide. I'm going to go to the insert tab and then here new slide. Uh, I'm going to insert this slide and I'm going to move it to the top position. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this agenda. And you'll notice uh, this time when you click on the Engage tab and you go back to Agenda, what it'll do is that uh, Engage will automatically read through the different titles of the different slides that you have. So in this case, it's found all the different slides you have. So it's found the Executive Summary slide, the Problem Opportunity Statement slide, the Requirement slide, and so on. So let's just go here. There's the Executive Summary slide, the Problem Opportunity Statement slide, and so on. So what it does is it'll read through the different uh, titles and then automatically place them there for you. So when you click on this infographic again, you'll see those two gears appear on the top right. You can click on those and then you can change the design of it. So for example, if you like um, this design, you can use this design as your um, agenda, uh, perhaps uh, this design, um, and then you can customize it and, and make it your own as I showed you earlier. Uh, what I want to show you now is um, let's go ahead and use this design uh, simply because it's different. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change um, the agenda font to white um, to match the number font. Okay, great. So um, what it does here is, um, like I said, it's piggybacking off what you currently have. So for example, what you can do is if in the event that you change this slide and you instead of calling it requirements, now you call it requirements two. And instead of having it as the fourth slide, um, you have it as the fifth slide. So when you go back to your agenda, what you can do is you can click on those two gears on the top right, and you can click this refresh from titles because you see here this is no longer the case. The order isn't right, and then the title uh, isn't right. This is called requirements two now. So when you click on refresh from titles, it'll automatically update based on the order that you have in your presentation. So now you have the correct order and now you have the correct title. Uh, the other thing that this does here, the set links on refresh, what this does is that when you go into presentation mode, so let's go ahead into uh, presentation mode. So for example, if you click on the executive summary, it's going to take you to that link. So let's go back to the agenda. Uh, if you click on the options uh, item in the agenda, it'll take you to the option slides. So uh, let's go back to the agenda. So that's what happens. It automatically puts a hyperlink between those agenda items and the slide that you have uh, in your presentation. The other thing that you can do as well, if you don't want to go to uh, slideshow mode and you want to see where those hyperlinks take you uh, so that you can uh, easily adjust them, what you can do is you can click on the navigation button here on the engage tab. And what this will do is it'll open up this navigation task pane. What you can do then is you can click on those different agenda items and just click on this follow link button. And this will take you to that uh, slide in your presentation without having to go to the um, slideshow mode. So that's one of the advantages to being able to do this in normal mode is that you can set and modify these links. So using this navigation pane, for example, if you want to select um, this agenda item, you can click on set link. And what it'll do is it'll open up 
uh, this drop down with the slide. So in this case, it's telling you that when you click on it, it's going to go to the slide four options. Uh, but if for whatever reason you wanted to make it go to slide 10, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Um, the other thing that you can do here is I'm going to close this navigation task pane. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and click those two gears here to open up the agenda dialog window. And uh, the last thing I'll show you is how you can also set uh, that link here using this option here. So you can remove the link here, um, but you can click on the set link button drop down here. And what it'll do is it'll have that same drop down and you can select it and make it go to slide four, for example, and that's where it's going to go. So uh, again, uh, that's how the uh, agenda uh, works in Engage. Thank you.